Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohamed Niaz with you. Today we're gonna see how to set up central reporting for Azure Information Protection using Azure Log Analytics. So in the last couple of videos you saw what is Azure Information Protection, how to create policies, labels, and how to revoke access for the files that you shared. And also we see how to set up Azure Information Protection on-prem scanner for file servers and other shared uh, folders in your organization. So this video we're gonna see how to uh, set up Azure Log Analytics for the central reporting of Azure Information Protection. In addition to the Azure Information Protection subscription, you need to, to subscribe Azure Analytics Workspace. Uh, a $200 trial is available, you can go for that. Otherwise, you need to, to go for a pay as you go, but this is very really, uh, cheap for, for example, uh, it doesn't cost much if you are trying for a demo or for a learning purpose, it costs only $5 or like that. So let's start the demonstration. Let's start from Log Analytics Workspace so that uh, go to Azure portal and click on Log Analytics Workspace. This is not a part of Azure trial subscription, so you need uh, to create a, another trial for Log Analytics. So once you have done with Log Analytics Workspace trial, then go to create Log Analytics Workspace. So here I'm using pay as you go subscription. It is very cheap actually uh, for the demonstration or learning purpose. You don't, you don't need to spend more than uh, $5. So I just go for a pay as you go and I don't have any resource group now. So I just create a new resource group. Then you can choose the location. There are two things that decide the price. One is about the retention of the logs and second is about the uh, quantity of logs that you're gonna uh, pull it to a uh, workspace. So th these two factors decide the pricing. So once you have a proper selections, then click OK. Then click on workspace then go to advanced settings now we need to download a agent and install it on all the computers so that uh, it can push all the logs to azure information protection log analytics so just download it there is a 32 bit and 64 bit key available and below that there is a oms gateway that is good for uh, non-internet connected machines so this gateway can collect those things and uh, bring it here. Install these clients in all the computers in your organization. Select connect the agent to Azure Log Analytics, then click next. Now you need to enter workspace ID and workspace key that is available from the place where we downloaded this agent. Just copy it and paste it there. Then click next, install it. Once you complete the installation, you need to make sure that the services related to this uh, monitoring agent are running. So if it is not running, you need to enable it. Now we're done with uh, the agent installation. Now it's time to collect the logs so that you need to mention which Windows event logs that you need to be uh, added. So go to Event Viewer and you can see Azure Information Protection. This is the log which we need to collect it and bring it uh, on Log Analytics. So Azure Information Protection, copy it and uh, just enter here, then add it. So all the information related to Azure Information Protection will bring it to Azure Log Analytics. Now the configuration has saved. Now you can see there is zero Windows computers connected. Let's refresh and see uh, the status of agents. 
now three windows computers is connected so once you install the agent you can refresh here and see uh, who are all connected to your log analytics now let's look at the analytics it will take few minutes to to load it properly you have activity logs you have data discovery and you have uh, recommendations here you get a complete usage report which includes the label activity protect activity and user and device activity and also you get a better graphical presentation also and when you go to activity logs you can see who which user uh, downgraded the label or the activity of user based on Azure information protection you can see here and also if any user degraded or uh, if any user downgraded the label that is also logged here if your on-prem scanner discovered a file and protected it that also is available here so from admin side he get a complete view of all the activities related to the documents data classification and protection this is good for a centralized auditing of your data thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe our youtube channel